When Tammy Woods came out with her story about the inappropriate behavior that she received at the hands of Mike Bickle, it was impactful. And it has really opened up so many more eyes to the monster that Mike Bickle really is, how he truly did live a double life. You know, going all the way back to, you know, when Tammy was only in her teens and being a babysitter for the Bickles. And that's how the whole thing started. She did a great job when she came out with her story several months ago. But now her own mother has come out with a blistering statement rebuking Mike Bickle. We're going to talk about this in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, yeah, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story about how I went blind and how I operate my entire ministry without being able to see. I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. Joining Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit the main YT platform. You'll get some exclusive links as well to these topics that we discuss. Some that I have to include up on Patreon for obvious reasons. While you're there, you can comment censorship-free in all videos. You can even send me DMs. So check it out, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Tammy Wood's mother is Jerry Woods, and she has now put out her own statement against Mike Bickle expressing the harm that he has caused to their entire family. And it wasn't just, you know, directly with Tammy. It was all of them as well, because they were impacted, you know, throughout that entire time. And if you remember back to Tammy's original story, she mentioned her family and how Mike had, you know, done everything he could to get close to them, to earn their trust, because that's, you know, what people like him would do. You gain the trust of others and, you know, you can weave your way in and, and try to get away with the things that you do. You know, he even tried to, you know, befriend her father and, you know, and go out and do different sports with him and things like that. These are all part of her original story. But now her mother has come out and she has put out what I just think is a, I mean, a blistering rebuke against Mike Bickle. She touched on several things. Let's talk about some of them here. The first one I want to bring up is how she talked about when he put out that weak confession. If you remember, you know, it was right around December 10th that he had talked about how he had done some things in his past that he had deeply regretted. Now, Jerry brought this up and she said to Mike Bickle, there's a big difference between regret and repent. You see, that initial confession by Mike Bickle lacked any sort of real repentance. We've talked about that for months now, but she wanted to highlight this because she said there again, there is a big difference between regret and repentance. I talk about this all the time. Repent means to turn away from your sin. Or as Jerry talked about here, having a change of heart. Repentance should spark change, but that's not what Mike Bickle has done. He can regret something because, well, now he got caught, right? Start Things started coming to light. Those things that were hidden then started to surface and they're coming out even more and more. So she highlights that there's been no true repentance. And I'm glad she said that. And then she talked about this next thing, which is again, so true. The Bible is very specific about, because she referenced Tammy, how she was only in her teens when this started. But the Bible is, you know, specifically mentions those who would harm little ones. And she references the scripture in Matthew that it would be better to have a millstone tied around your neck and have you drown in the sea. She points that directly to Mike Bickle because what did he do? This wasn't just with Tammy Wood. She wasn't the only one in her teens here that Bickle had done this to. Remember, TH came out and gave her story and there's more that are coming out and sharing their stories. This is a pattern of Mike Bickle's that he did over years and years and years. And it just continued to happen. As Jerry continued on here, 
in her statement, she mentions how for so long, we're talking over 40 years, that Mike Bickle had basically, you know, had their family bound, had them, you know, afraid to talk about these things. And, you know, she references how Bickle had told Tammy that if you're ever confronted about anything that I have done, I want you to tell people that I'm a man of God. And Jerry says that she is happy that her daughter has no longer done that. She has completely gotten rid of that phrase that Mike Bickle gave her. And in fact, she has admitted that Mike Bickle is not a man of God. He is a serial pred, if you know what I mean. And that is so true. Jerry says, no longer will you hold our family captive with your lies, your manipulation, your deceit. We are now free, no longer locked down by you. And Jerry says that now the door has been kicked wide open for other Jane Doe's to come out and share their stories. Just she said as Tammy did. And for so long, Tammy was not able to. But Tammy even referenced the original Jane Doe who gave her the inspiration to come out and share her story. And then you remember what happened with TH. TH said that it was Tammy Woods who inspired her to come out and share her story because much like Tammy, TH was also in her teens when the interaction with Bickle started. So Jerry says that now that the door has been kicked wide open, we want more Jane Doe's to come out. And they are. Continue to share your stories. For those that are still fearful, she said, let me encourage you. And she quotes in scripture from Timothy that God has not given you a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. Now is the time, Jerry says, to take down this narcissistic pred once and for all. It's truly an amazing statement, and there's so much more, but I will have the link for you in the description here of this video, so you can check that out for yourself if you want to look at the full statement. But she's right. More are coming out and shouldn't be fearful any longer. You know, I want to highlight something else that she mentioned here, because this was something that Bickle had alluded to that kind of got out in the open and got leaked out that he would just sort of hide in his basement for a few years and then wait for this to all blow over. And then he would just get right back into ministry again. And what that does, again, it shows that there is no real true repentance on the part of Mike Bickle. The goal for him, like so many other pastors who fall into this sort of thing, is to get right back up there into ministry again. But the more people that can come out and speak about this and give their story, it's just going to it's gonna continue to cripple his credibility uh, even more if he does try and start some other ministry down the, down the road. Look, make no mistake, there will still be people that will follow him because there's some that will just unfortunately never wake up, right? It doesn't matter. You know, men, women, it doesn't matter. They'll, they'll continue to follow him because they'll just refuse to believe any of this stuff, you know, they'll keep the blinders on forever. And that's sad, but thankfully, more and more are waking up. Again, I will have that full statement down below here in the description. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. What this is, is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church and exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior because well, time is running out. We are in the last days. So for anybody watching now, if you're somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. 
Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash not by site news or hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.